Hi there. Today, let's talk about something that affects us all, our budget. We all know the importance of budgeting and how it can help us manage our finances better. But sometimes, despite our best efforts, we find ourselves overspending. Often, this overspending isn't on necessities, but on things we could easily do without. That's why today, we're going to look at some expenses we can cut from our budget. And the best part? I'm sure you won't even miss them. It's all about being smart with our money and making sure every centavo counts. But before we start our journey, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button to stay updated on all our content and learn more how you can have a more financially secure future. So without any further ado, let's jump into the list of expenses you can cut from your budget that I'm sure you won't miss. First on our list are unused subscriptions. We all have them. Those sneaky recurring payments that nibble away at our bank accounts month after month. Whether it's a subscription box you signed up for on a whim, a streaming service you barely use, or a gym membership gathering cobwebs, there's a good chance you're paying for something you're not really using. It's a common tendency, really. We sign up for these services with the best of intentions. We envision ourselves working out daily, binge-watching hit series, or delighting in a monthly surprise of curated goodies. But then, life happens. We get busy, our routines change, and before we know it, we're no longer using that service we're still paying for. That's money trickling out of your account, drip by drip every single month. And let's be honest, it adds up. Imagine what you could do with that extra cash if you just stopped paying for things you don't use. Maybe it could go towards a much-deserved vacation, a down payment on a new home, or just plain old savings for a rainy day. So how do we remedy this? It's simple, really. Make it a habit to regularly check on your subscription services. Take a good hard look at what you're using and what you're not. Ask yourself, am I getting value from this? If the answer is no, then it's time to hit that cancel button without regret. Remember, it's not just about the money, it's about financial freedom. It's about taking control of where your money goes and ensuring it's working for you, not against you. It's about making conscious choices and being a smart consumer. So go ahead and cancel those unused subscriptions. It might seem insignificant at first, but give it a few months and you'll be pleasantly surprised. Watch your savings grow, one cancelled subscription at a time. And remember, every penny saved is a penny earned. Moving on, the second expense you can cut from your budget is dining out. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm all for a good meal at a fancy restaurant or a quick bite from a fast food joint. But when these occasional treats become a regular habit, they can take a serious toll on your budget. You may think that a cheap fast food meal isn't much, but if you think about it, if you're dining out for lunch every workday, that amount can add up to at least a round trip ticket to a dream vacation destination. Go ahead and do the math. Multiply the typical cost of a fast food lunch by 250 and you'll get an estimate of how much you're spending unnecessarily in a year. And let's not forget the cost of the occasional dinners and weekend brunches. Those can add up quickly too. And that's not even considering the times when you decide to splurge on a fancy dinner or celebrate a special occasion at a high-end restaurant. So, what's the alternative? Cooking at home. It's not as daunting as it might seem. With a little bit of planning and some basic cooking skills, you can whip up delicious meals at a fraction of the cost of dining out. Plus, you have control over the ingredients, so you can make healthier choices. Start by planning your meals for the week. Make a list of the ingredients you need and stick to it when you go grocery shopping. Avoid impulse buying and unnecessary items. And if you're short on time during the week, consider meal prepping on the weekends. Cook a large batch of a dish and divide it into portions for the week. This way, you'll always have a home-cooked meal ready to heat and eat, and who knows? You may discover a passion for cooking and create your own signature dishes, or you could turn it into a fun activity and cook with your partner, your kids, or even your friends. You'll not only save money but also create beautiful memories. Remember, a home-cooked meal not only saves you money but also is a healthier option. Next up, let's talk about unnecessary groceries. We've all been there, haven't we? We stroll down the aisles of our favorite supermarket, picking up items that catch our eye, only to end up with a fridge full of food that we don't really need and, let's be honest, probably won't even eat. This habit of buying unnecessary groceries is more common than you might think. It's easy to be tempted by a two-for-one deal on a product we wouldn't usually buy, or to pick up that fancy artisanal cheese just because it looks good on the shelf. But these impulsive purchases can really add up, and before you know it, you're spending far more on groceries than you intended to. One of the best ways to combat this is to make a grocery list before you go shopping and stick to it. 
This isn't just about writing down what you need, it's about planning your meals for the week, thinking about what ingredients you'll need, and then making a list based on that. And no, you don't need that extra bag of chips or that sixth bottle of ketchup. Remember, if it's not on the list, it doesn't go in the cart. Another tip is to shop on a full stomach. It might sound silly, but when you're hungry, everything looks appetizing and you're more likely to stray from your list. So have a snack before you go grocery shopping and you'll be less tempted by those impulse buys. And finally, consider buying in bulk. Not only can this save you money in the long run, but it can also reduce the number of trips you need to make to the store, which means fewer opportunities for those impulse purchases. Remember, groceries are a necessity, but wasting food and money isn't. By making a shopping list and sticking to it, you can avoid wasting money on unnecessary groceries. Fourth on our list is brand name products. Now let's talk about a common habit that many of us are guilty of buying expensive brand name products when there are cheaper alternatives available. Picture this. You're strolling down the supermarket aisle and you're faced with a decision. On one shelf, you see a familiar brand name product that you've used for years. On the shelf below, you see a store brand or generic product that's significantly cheaper. What do you do? Well, many of us automatically reach for the brand name product. It's what we know, it's what we trust. But here's the thing. The store brand or generic product often offers the same quality, the same functionality, at a fraction of the price. This is particularly true for products like over-the-counter medication, cleaning supplies, and pantry staples. For instance, did you know that the Food and Drug Administration requires that generic medication must perform the same way as the brand name version? That means the generic version of your headache pills are just as effective as the brand name ones but usually cost a lot less. Same goes for cleaning supplies. The active ingredients in these products are often the same, whether you're buying a brand name or a store brand, so why pay more for the same result? And let's not forget about pantry staples like rice, pasta, and canned goods. Often, the only difference between a brand name and a store brand is the packaging. The contents inside are virtually identical. By choosing store brands or generic products over brand names, you can save a significant amount of money. So next time you're at the supermarket, take a moment to compare prices and ingredients. You might be surprised at how much you can save without compromising on quality. Remember, it's not about being cheap. It's about being smart with your money. And that's a habit worth cultivating. By choosing store brands or generic products over brand names, you can save a significant amount of money. So there you have it. Four expenses you can cut from your budget that you won't miss. We've looked at the money drain caused by unused subscriptions, the high cost of dining out, the trap of buying unnecessary groceries, and the premium you pay for brand name products. Each of these areas offers an opportunity to trim the fat from your budget and save more of your hard-earned money. Just imagine the potential savings if you cut back on these expenses. Those savings can be channeled into something more meaningful, like an emergency fund, a dream vacation, or a retirement nest egg. By making these small but significant changes, you're not just saving money, but also investing in your future. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more money saving tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, and remember, the money you save today could save you tomorrow.